Hello everyone, welcome to the Functional Test Automation through Visual AI course. I am Raja Rao, I will be the instructor for this course. In this course, I will show you the modern way or the intelligent way of doing web and mobile testing, specifically functional or end-to-end -end UI testing. You will soon see how much simpler, faster and superior modern functional testing is compared to the legacy code-based or DOM-based testing. The analogy is gasoline car versus electric car. They both are cars, they both need tires, seats, brakes, etc. But the core engine that moves the car is different. And that makes a huge difference. The main idea is that once the functionality happens, like logging into an app, simply take a screenshot of the resulting page or the resulting state of the app. And take screenshots every time the test runs and compare the new screenshot with the original screenshot. If there is a difference, then mark the test as failed or else mark the test as passed. Sounds pretty simple. This is not a brand new idea. In theory, QA engineers should see exponential benefits by simply comparing screenshots or doing DOM diffing where you compare entire DOM with the previous version of the DOM. But in reality, application changes all the time or they will have some dynamic regions that change all the time or the browser update happens and changes the way things are rendered on the screen. And so the screenshots and the DOM constantly differ from the original one even when there is no difference in functionality. And so when you compare the screenshots using pixel by pixel comparison or compare DOM using DOM diffing techniques, you will constantly get false positives. This can go out of hand pretty quickly to the point where you will revert back to the code based validation. So in theory this sounds great but in reality it simply does not work. And this is really where AppleTools comes in. With AppleTools SDK, you will take screenshots but compare them through Visual AI. AppleTools AI has been trained with billions of images and uses computer vision, advanced algorithms and other things to highlight only the meaningful differences and ignore others. Now you don't need to learn anything about artificial intelligence, Python or computer vision. You just need to use the AppleTools SDK and simply add a few lines of code. And the SDK takes care of taking a screenshot of your application and uploading it to the AI server. By the way, AppleTools provides various SDKs to work with your existing test frameworks and programming languages. So you don't need to rip and replace your existing work. The way it works is that you will still use Selenium, Cypress, Appium, etc. for navigation and data entry but you delegate the validation to the AI. And since you are taking screenshots of the entire page in most cases, you don't need to write a lot of tests to check individual elements like you were doing before. So you'll end up with a lot less code to begin with. And secondly, you don't need to write a lot of validation code because you now have screenshots. So ultimately, you'll end up with a lot less code and dramatically high test coverage. After you watch a few chapters, I encourage you, in fact, I challenge you to simply comment out your current code and replace it with AppleTools code just to get a feel for how simple it is. Now before going ahead, let me talk a bit about myself. I did my masters in computer science from UIUC in 2002. Then I became a QA engineer slash lead slash architect over the next seven years. And while I was at Yahoo, I even got an award for moving them from QTP and their homegrown testing solutions to Selenium RC and TestNG back in 2008. And at that time, TestNG was truly a next generation testing framework. I guess I'm aging myself here. Since then, I became a front end developer and developer advocate and wrote some very popular tech blogs, such as this one that has millions of views and has nearly 60,000 likes. Last year, I joined AmpliTools because I saw what they are doing and I saw a huge opportunity to contribute back to the amazing QA community because I realized QA engineers are still writing tests exactly the same way I did 12-15 years ago. And in the last year, I helped build Test Automation U to help the QA community to learn from the best in the industry like Angie Jones. And now I am thrilled to have an opportunity to create this course where I will show you how to do functional testing the modern way, the intelligent way. 
The way this course is organized is that you will first learn the new approach or the pattern and then in the following courses I will go over some common functional tasks that you typically do and kind of give you a recipe of how you do it the modern way. So essentially before and after for different functional testing use cases. And near the end I talk about how to handle dynamic pages and how to use all sorts of advanced tools that AppliTools provides. And finally, I also talk about some of the limitations and their workarounds so that you know exactly what they are and when to use the workarounds and when to fall back to the legacy way. And before we get started, one last thing to note is that in addition to this course, there are several other visual validation courses on test automation use such as this course. Feel free to watch them to understand more about various AppliTools features. Further, you can use the AppliTools tutorial site and the documentation side to get started. Okay, let's get to the first chapter.